Hello, hello everybody. It's happy hour. Thank you for jumping on here and for being with me. I'm going to turn the camera so I can see who's on here. Hello everybody. Thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate you. It's Monday. I hope you had an awesome weekend. I know I did. It was absolutely amazing. So I hope you're all doing well and enjoying your day so far, your Monday. Oh, so this is the time when we come on to give gratitude. This is when we come on here just to lift the vibration and find that inner peace and joy that's there. So thank you again for coming on with me. And what I always do is share my book. This is Gratitude Vase. There's actually a Facebook group by the same name. So if you haven't checked that out, jump on over to the Gratitude Vase and you'll be able to see that there's a bunch of people in there who are sharing out gratitude every day. And what we do, it's a workbook. Hi Karen, thank you for being here. This is a workbook. So every day we share out who we're grateful for. You don't have to have the book. You don't even have to have a vase. Just send out a message that you're grateful for somebody. Lift their vibration. Lift it up there. That's, that's what this is all about. You know, gratitude is loveitude. That's our hashtag. And when you're sharing gratitude, you're sharing of yourself. And what you are sharing is pure, unconditional love. You're saying, thank you. I appreciate you. Just because I do. You know, there's no agenda, there's nothing that you're asking for in return or in exchange. It's just a thank you. Hi, Brandy. Hi, thank you for being here with us today. So we're talking about gratitude. And every time that I come on, I ask, who are you grateful for? And I like to see it when you type it into the chat. Oh, I've missed you too, Brandy. Thank you for being back here with us. And every day I do this, I do a happy hour at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. <gasps> Hi, Tina! Oh, do you know my David? <laughs> yes. The first time I saw him, I thought I was looking at Jesus. I mean, he just has that presence, you know, and that look. And it's just amazing. So, yes, today I'm grateful for David... Andrew Rodriguez, a most amazing person, and I was hoping he would jump on here and uh, know just how much we appreciate him. Hi, Robert Ray. Thank you for being here, my dear friend, and I'm so glad you're feeling better. I send you out love and light, and we're just sharing out some gratitude right now. We're lifting the vibration with gratitude and love and joy and happiness and peace. All of those wonderful, great vibrations because that's what we do at happy hour. We get happy. We, we share out what we're grateful for and who we're grateful for. And in my gratitude face today, I put David Andrew Rodriguez in there. And I sent him a note and I got a really nice message back from him thanking me for it. And um, so I shared that out on in the gratitude face on Facebook in the group that he was my person today. What I want to do, <coughs> excuse me, every day on here we talk about, oh, thank you, Robert. We talk about the fact that gratitude is love. When you're sharing gratitude, you're sharing that part of yourself. You're sharing out love. So I'm going to read one paragraph from uh, Marianne Williamson's book. It's called A Return to Love. And I love this paragraph in this book. She is, is so beautiful in the way she expresses things. She says, God, as love, is constantly expanding, flourishing, and creating new patterns for the expression and attainment of joy. When our minds, through focus on love, are allowed to be open vessels through which God expresses, our lives become the canvases for the expression of that joy. 
That's the meaning of our lives. We are here as physical representations of a divine principle. To say that we're on the earth to serve God means that we're on the earth to love. Let that sink in for a minute. We are on the earth to love. And you know, I've talked to so many spirits that are no longer in their physical body. They've returned to the spirit realm. And they tell me the only thing that they take from this existence is love. They take love. So while we're here in these physical bodies, in this earth lifetime, let's focus on love. Let's focus on giving love to each other. And you know, when you say to somebody, I appreciate you, you are showing love. You are showing respect and honor and lifting up both of you, you and the, the person receiving. You're lifting both of you up and letting them experience a moment of love with you. Isn't that beautiful? Don't you all just love that? Let me see some hearts if you love that, that we're here for love and we're here to share that love with others. You know, if you have something inside of you, you don't want to just hold it all inside, right? Hi, Selena Lovett. Thank you for being here. So if we have all this love inside of us, then let it come to the outside. Tell somebody, I love you. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you. The more you say that, the more that fills up your cup that's in your heart, that cup of love. Just like you all are filling my heart right now with all of those wonderful hearts and likes, that just brings me joy to see that. It lifts my vibration to see that coming across the screen. And you know, we all do have this cup inside of our hearts, in our heart chakra. And the more we can fill that cup up with love from the inside, the more we can tell ourselves, I love you. You know, if I look in the mirror, I'm going to say to myself, I love you, Terry. I love you. And the reason I'm going to say that has nothing to do with ego. The reason I'm saying that is to fill that cup up inside of me with love because I give out so much love to everybody. It's, it's a constant give and take. You know, the more I give you love, the more it fills me up. And then it just shed, sheds more out there. But the more I give myself love, my cup stays full. So what I'm giving out then is from my overflow, from my cup. You know, my cup runs over. So I take some of that and I throw it out there and I, I tell anybody and everybody, I love you because I really do. It's what I feel inside. Thank you, Karen. You are so precious to me and I love you so much. Oh my gosh, this just, this warms my heart so much to see all of you here. Thank you, Robert. I love you also, and thank you. You are such a blessing in my life, and I've learned a lot from you. And I just, I, I enjoy seeing your face and listening to your words. You're beautiful. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for being on my journey. And, you know, people, it doesn't cost anything to give somebody a compliment it doesn't cost you anything to say to somebody, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm so grateful for you. Hi, Julie Feldman. Thank you for being here. I love you. And I want to see you. It's been way too long. So see, that's how it works. That's how it works. You share out loveitude by sharing gratitude. And it doesn't cost you anything to do this. Nothing. Just open up your heart. And say to somebody, it doesn't matter who it is, just send every day a little love note to somebody and say, I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you. You know, or like I do, I'm so thankful that you're in my life. I love that. I love sharing that out with people because I really am, you know, I'm grateful for every day that I'm alive. Every day is a miracle. Every day is a miracle. We're not guaranteed one moment on this earth plane. So all we have is this very moment, right now. This is the only guarantee we have in life, that we're here right now, this moment, and we're all together here on this Facebook Live. Isn't that wonderful? 
I love being in your presence. I love being here with all of you and being able to share with you that I love you and that I appreciate you. That's just awesome. That is awesome. So knowing that there's no guarantee, every time when I wake up, every morning when I open my eyes, it's a miracle. And I'm like, thank you, God. Thank you that I have another day. You've given me another day that I can love and laugh and have adventures and, you know, raise vibrations and teach and learn. You know, there's so many lessons in life, and we all came here to learn a lesson. And I know that my lesson was all about love and peace and gratitude. So I'm learning it. <laughs> I'm learning it. I'm teaching it. I'm sharing it out with all of you. And I am so grateful to be able to do that. And I'm grateful for each day that I have. And I will do this for the rest of my life. I will share out gratitude and joy, happiness and peace. So I, I welcome you to join with me. Yes, Robert, love is the only real emotion that blesses and heals us all. You know, from what I understand, and I've studied a lot, there are only two emotions, and that's love and hate. I'm sorry, love and fear. And if it doesn't fall in one of those categories, you know, it, it, that's what it does. If you're not loving somebody, then you're in an a emotion of fear. Hi, Connie Elkins. Thank you for being here. Um, so look at, at how you're living your life and how you're putting out what your emotions are and what your verbiage is to other people. Is it a loving verbiage? You know, do you say uplifting things when you're posting on, on social media, no matter what social media it is, or when you're teaching a group of people, are you saying uplifting things or are you inciting fear and going to those low vibration places. That's what I have to look at. You know, it's like when I start to put a post out for others to see, what am I sharing? What am I sharing? Am I sharing something uplifting? Am I sharing love? You know, I have a beautiful spirit guide named Kuan Yin. Hi, Kuka Carney. Kuan Yin is so beautiful. And Kuan Yin lived a physical existence here on Earth. And she was all about love and compassion. And my beautiful Kuan Yin, as her spirit now, has come to me and she said two words to me. She said, love heals. Love heals. And it does. It does. That essence of love, when you share it out with another, it, it's healing. It absolutely heals. So shower everyone you know with love and let's heal this planet. Let's heal our nation. Let's heal our, our community where we live. Let's heal our families. Share out love instead of the lower vibration which only brings on anxiety and stress and disease. I love you too, Kuka. I'm so glad that you're here today. Yes, Robert, exactly. Letting it go. Letting it go. That's the whole thing. You know, one thing I've really learned a lot lately is that we have no control over anybody else, so we don't need to be taking it personally. What anybody else does, that's their path. And I am actually going to see Don Miguel Ruiz this coming weekend. I will be sitting in his class and letting him teach us those wonderful four agreements and the second agreement is to don't take it personally. Don't take it personally. You have your path to live. We all do. We all came here for a reason. We all came here to learn a lesson. So if our lesson is what we're living, then nobody else can judge that. They may try, but that's yours. And somebody else may be living their life in a way that you don't agree with or that you wouldn't live yours that way okay that's their lesson that's their life path don't take it as something against you because then you're taking on their vibration live your life learn your lessons live your life and move forward 
And the more you live in love and gratitude, then you're going to find that that's what you're drawing to you. It's the law of attraction. What you put out there into the universe is what you're going to draw back to you. So if you're putting out love and light and all those high vibrations, what you're going to find is people are going to be drawn to you that are ma a match to your vibration. So your vibration, when it's high, you're going to find people that are happy, people that are joyous, people that are sharing out gratitude and love. Hi, Jack. I'm so glad you're on here. Thank you for being here. So the game plan is to share out gratitude and to share out love. And when you share gratitude, you're sharing love. But just to pick somebody every day and say thank you. Thank you for the person you are. Thank you for being in my life. I appreciate you and I welcome you and I love you. You know, when you say I love you and you really feel it inside, they know that. We can all give lip service. You know, I'm, I'm sure you've been with, with those people or around those people that, that say thank you, but it's just like a curt thank you, you know, and not really feeling it inside. What we're talking about is actually feeling it inside, feeling that gratitude, getting in touch with how that feels, and how does it make you feel when somebody says to you, I'm grateful for you. Think about that for just a minute. How do you feel when I say, Jack, I am so grateful for you? Or Robert, or Julie, or Kuka, or Brandy, I am so grateful for you. How does that make you feel? What's that feeling that you've got in your heart when that happens? That's the feeling I want you to get in touch with when you say thank you to somebody. When you say, I'm grateful for you, I appreciate you. Because when you do that and you're coming from a real place of love, which is inside of you, then that other person is going to feel it and they're going to be healed by it. This is what Kuan Yin teaches us, that love heals. And that's what she's talking about. When other people see that part of us, that loving, caring, amazing part of us that just loves just because that's that's, that's our spirit it's in our, our true spirit to love others so when we're sharing that with somebody it is healing and it does heal whatever it need is that needs to be healed that's what has to take place is that love has to come through for the healing to take place so the last thing I want to talk to you about for just a few minutes is world peace. And the question is, do you want world peace? Oh, that's awesome, Robert. Thank you for sharing that. Do you want world peace? And if you want world peace, what does it look like to you? What would you envision world peace to be like? You know, for me, I envision people that are kind to one another, people that accept you no matter what color your skin is, no matter what your nationality is, what your sexual preference is, what, you know, what country you live in, just accepting each other as part of the oneness of spirit. Hi, Jeannie. Thank you for being here. Yes, exactly, Robert. Peace is that absence of all that low vibration, you know, the hatred, the um, anything that's unlike love. And absolutely, thank you, Kuka. Peace begins with me. It has to begin with each one of us. Everyone accepting each other. Yes, that's what we're talking about. And... So when we start doing that, when we start accepting other people openly and sharing out that love, that's where world peace is going to come from. We can't look to somebody out there, some ruler or some, um, you know, some outside influence that's going to rush in and save us. There's not a Superman that's going to do that. You know, there's not a Wonder Woman that's going to change world peace. It has to happen with each of us. 
we have to be the Wonder Woman. We have to be the Superman. So if you're up to that challenge and you want to see a different world to live in, you want to see a kind world where people are actually nice to each other and not sharing out hatred and racism and you know all of that stuff, then it has to start with you. And you have to be the one to be the change you want to see in the world. You really do. That's where it comes from. I'm the executive director of the primary team of the Prosperity and Peace Initiative. And you can go to prosperityandpeaceinitiative.org and look and see what we're all about. There's a whole group of us that are placing peace ambassadors in every nation. Every nation will have its own peace ambassador. Every nation will have a representative here in the United States working with them and teaching them about peace and prosperity. It does go hand in hand. So we're going to be teaching them how they can make changes where they're at to help teach their people in some of these underprivileged countries. You know, they don't even have running water. So we're going to teach people about prosperity. And on September 21st of this year, every nation and every state in the United States is going to hold a summit, a peace summit. And we're going to talk about peace and how we envision peace and what we can do. What can we do? What can I do? What can you do? Thank you. Welcome, Luann. I'm so glad you're here. Yes, absolutely. And hi, Sonia. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for jumping in. So on September 21st, that's what's going to happen. If you want to get involved and, and get involved in world peace, that's what we're talking about right now, contact me. If you know somebody that can help, somebody that either is in another nation or has contacts in another nation that would like to see world peace happen, then please get in touch with me. Send them my way. I will do the work. I will talk to them. I will give them all the information. Hi, Patty Allen. Patty Allen is our wonderful, wonderful contact person for the Prosperity and Peace Initiative that will take your application if it's something that you're interested in doing. I can definitely send you her way after I get your information and your name and email and all of that good stuff. So let me know that you would like to be involved in world peace because that's what I'm all about. That's my mission. And I've already had my little talk with God, and I've already said, okay, God, I want world peace, and this is what I'm putting out to the universe. I would love to see world peace in my lifetime, so I'm just going to stick around until that happens, okay? So that was my conversation with God. <laughs> now, whether he goes for that or not, we'll see. Um, and Kimberly, hello. Thank you for joining us. Patty, oh, Patty, I love you. You do so much for world peace, and thank you. Thank you for being such a wonderful person that does so much. Every day, you do so much for world peace, and I, so, I appreciate you so much. You're a rock to us all, and thank you. Hi, Sonia. Your audio is out on your phone. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, maybe you can catch this on the replay on Facebook because it does go up on there. And my wonderful friend Karen Palmer is teaching me how to put this on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube later and you want to get in touch with me, you just email me, terry at angelspeakers.com, and I will put that in the link. So you can, all you have to do is click on it. But that's what I'm all about is happiness, joy, gratitude, love, and peace. And that's what I wish for all of you today, for all of you. I want that in my life, and I want that in your life. I want to see this world that I exist in as a peaceful place where we all are kind to one another, where we all are sharing positive, uplifting energy with one another. Do you want that too? Let's see some hearts if you want that. Come on, guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, that's what I'm all about. That's what I will be doing 
every day for the rest of my life. I will be sharing out peace and happiness and joy and gratitude and love. Hi, Jean Miller. Thank you for being here. And I love all of you. I want you to know that. That comes from inside my heart. Like I was talking about earlier, I have to fill up my cup of love inside my heart every day. And then I can share it out with you guys. And I do that every day, every morning when I get up, when I wake up. I look in the mirror and I say, I am amazing. I am loved. I am enough. And this is something that you can do as well. You know, just look at yourself and tell yourself how amazing you are. Be grateful for yourself. Be grateful for this life that you're living. And if you're not happy in the life you're living, look at why. Why am I not happy? You know, maybe there's some things that need to change. This is this was me. This was me a few years ago. I'm like, no, I'm totally not happy. What do I need to change to get happy? Because it's not coming from out there anywhere. You know, happiness is not something out there. It's not a destination that you get to. Happiness starts inside. And it comes from changes inside of you to get you to that place of happiness and contentment and joy. And gratitude helps. Gratitude helps. The more you can say, I'm grateful for you and share out that love. Hi, Debbie Garcia, one of my happiness angels. Hi, Debbie. We're together on Wednesday nights. Come join us Wednesday nights at 1030 Eastern Time. And Debbie and I and Shantae share out love and happiness and joy. And we raise the vibrations on the radio, on Blog Talk. So thank you all again for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you missed the beginning of this, um, this is my book, The Gratitude Vase. And it's a workbook where inside you can put who you're grateful for every day. It's not dated, so you can start it at any point in your journey. I was trying to open it to the page for today. There it is. And today my person is David Andrew Rodriguez. I love you, David. Thank you for being in my journey. And I love all of you. Thank you for being here with me. Oh, good, Debbie. I'm so glad to hear that. Yes, let's have a great time on Wednesday night, guys. Come and call in and talk to us and help us to, to raise the vibration even more. So I thank you very much for joining me now. And I hope you have a wonderful evening full of peace and happiness and joy. Tell somebody today that you're grateful for them. Raise their vibration and yours along the way. I love you. Remember to use the hashtag, I choose peace. I choose peace. That is such a statement all by itself. I choose peace. Thank you all. I'll be back tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Time to do some more gratitude and happiness and joy. I love you all. Good night.